Last year, I made a trade for Kadarius Tony. I took Keenan Allen and I traded him at the end of last year for Kadarius Tony. Now, I took vitriol. It wasn't the vitriol about, you know, it was a bad trade, just you could get more. But listen, if I believe a player is the next Tyreek or has Tyreek ability, I'm going to make that trade, especially when I got an older wide receiver team. Guys, Kadarius Tony is a hybrid, and I've been talking about hybrids for the last four to five years. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about the NFL is changing. They're going to hybrids, but I've been saying this, and people are just going through their days and talking about the NFL is changing and they noticing new trends. I've been on this. I was on it before not even one hybrid was in the league. I knew what the college system was doing and I knew that this, in order for the pros to keep progressing, they was going to have to implement offenses where these hybrids would have a role. What position would Debo play in another type of offense if he wasn't being used as a hybrid? He would be what? A garbage average receiver? So, i am been on hybrids. I know that they needed a role. And I knew D a player like Debo was better than what he was, how the pros was using him. So, when you use this guy, give him carries behind the line of scrimmage, you get him out in space, you throw the ball to him downfield, hybrids are going to be accentuated. So, guys, this is why I'm on in Kadarius Tony. The Buffalo regime came, he's now the head coach at, at the Giants, the offensive coordinator. And... What is he going to do? Why did they, you think they hired him? They hired him to accentuate Kadarius Tony and to bring up Daniel Jones up to speed. So this is why I'm high on Kadarius Tony this year, guys. Make sure you pick him up because I believe that he can be used as a hybrid and he can have touches all through the field from carries, from catches, going downfield, running the ball, wildcat. So make sure you pick up Kadarius Tony.